Hello and welcome. It makes my heart glad to connect with your heart this week um, in this time of a midweek devotional as we look toward the third Sunday of Lent. I'm Lisa Frost, a member at University United Methodist Church uh, on the LSU campus in Baton Rouge. Um, we started this midweek devotional time very early in the uh, COVID quarantine, knowing that we needed to touch base with each other in this in-between season, uh, a new rhythm. None of us expected that this threshold time would be a year long, and that's the time we're kind of approaching now. It's March, and it's it's been a year. Um, we have good and hopeful news at university that I'd like to share with you. We return to in-person worship on March the 14th. We'll have services uh, gathering in our sanctuary at 8.30 and 11. Um, details are still forthcoming. This is new information, um, which just really confirmed yesterday. Um, there are discussions with adult Sunday school classes about how to return safely and, and when that can happen and room assignments and cleaning schedules and all those things that have to be considered for us to do this in a safe way. We can't wait to welcome back children of our church and our community into the fellowship hall at 945 um, that Sunday and every Sunday for children's Sunday school. We will practice all the safety protocols and masks are required. How good it will be to return. And this week, this is the third week of Lent, um, a different Lent, I think, at least for me. I've intentionally returned and recaptured the practices that for me have grounded me in the past um, and drawn me closer to God, centering prayer, morning devotional reading, and journaling. These are not new, uh, but I often feel I'm just too busy for them. Am I the only one? I have refocused my intentions and attention in this time, and it has been good. Are your hands too full right now? Um, in this time, what do you need to let go of to receive? In our sacred breath class this week, we talked about um, this 40 days of Lent um, and how this year, perhaps, it feels like we are moving just kind of slowly towards Easter, not having the perfect plan this year on Ash Wednesday of how our Lent is going to be, but gradually considering, trying on some things, letting go a little at a time, opening our hands to receive what's waiting for us. Uh, the author of our book, Sacred Breath, David Miskins, and I hope I'm saying his name right, he, in one of the readings, um, he quoted C.S. Lewis, who quoted Augustine. And I just love when people quote other people. Um, but this is the quote from Augustine. God wants to give us something, but cannot. Because our hands are full, there's nowhere to put it. Hmm. And hear these words from Henry Nouwen, always so good. Here's what Nouwen wrote. The words of Jesus, set your hearts on God's kingdom first and all other things will given, be given you as well. Summarize the best way we are called to live our lives. With our hearts set on God's kingdom, that kingdom is not some faraway land that we hope to reach, nor is it life after death or an ideal state of affairs, no. God's kingdom is first of all, the active presence of God within us, offering us the freedom we truly desire. And so the main question becomes, now when writes, how do we set our hearts on the kingdom first when our hearts are preoccupied with so many things? Can I let go of um, some occupation or preoccupation to experience a glimpse of the kingdom of God here and now? I hope so. I hope you will find time this day and many days to pause and breathe, connecting with the present moment and the presence of God. Even now, um, often days of sorrow, uncertainty. And if this seems um, very hard some days, and it probably will, uh, rest and wait, not for um, the perfect answer, um, but maybe read, be inspired by a word that, that you can carry with you through your day. We practiced Lexio Divina with our confirmation group this past Sunday. Um, Lexio Divina is that sick way of sacred reading where we're not really reading for information, but 
um, to hear a word or phrase that catches our attention that becomes a transforming and inviting word for us. Uh, the group listened to the scripture um, of the story of the followers meeting Jesus on the road to Emmaus. Uh, the travelers didn't recognize him until they had listened to him and walked with him and um, then invited him in uh, for a meal. And in that blessing and breaking of bread, all of a sudden they saw Jesus in a fresh way. The words that caught my attention on Sunday in listening to the reading um, were walking along. Those words were said a couple of three times in that uh, translation we were listening to. Walking along is enough, I think, um, for me. Invite Jesus to walk along, then invite him in and pause for a time of refreshment. The kingdom has been here all along. So I hope that you find fresh eyes to see, that you have opened your hands to receive what is yours to be received. Maybe let go of some things that aren't serving you right now. Um, and I look so forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you.